Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly and uh, today I have a junk journal that I want to share with you. Um, as you can see, this is a Christmas junk journal. Uh, it um, is another labor of love. I've just completed it. Um, this is the only uh, journal that I'll be making for uh, this uh, Christmas season because uh, it took a lot of energy and, and time and um, I uh, wanted at first to design it for myself for my own use but then it got so big and uh, I uh, with time I've realized that I don't use um, big I mean uh, such big journals this one has uh, three signatures um, the cover is a heavyweight chipboard uh, I've worked on it with um, this shape I molded it I have the mold and I did it with resin and so um, are these made with resin as well there's another shape on the side here it's a tree and it's also made with resin and then I have uh, worked on with paints and patina I have texturized also the cover here and the bag is plain texture. I didn't want to put too much volume here because um, I, I wanted um, the owner to be able to um, put it flat like so, laid flat like so. Um, as you can hear, it has a, um, a charm that I have hung to the side. Um, so it has uh, plenty of, um, of beads and uh, little um, bells, jingle bells. Is, yeah, here you have a Santa beads, bell beads, more beads, all type of beads from my stash. Here there's a little heart with an angel inside. Here's a, that's a beautiful gem that I had in my stash. More bells. Here's a deer. Another stone from my stash. Here's an, a beautiful wreath with a bow. And more beads generally. I did this one as well, but uh, basically I have tried to match Christmas colors. And um, the charm can be removed by removing this, um, uh, what you call a paper clip. So it's hanging on the paper clip, but you can also take it out of the paper clip with that uh, clasp here. And I have also hung um, this uh, piece here, so you can actually um, hang the the charm from that part here so uh, let's go inside it on the first page here i made a pocket and in that pocket you get that um uh junk journal card it explains uh, facts about the junk journal and you have my wax seal here k for my uh, surname my name is kelly and um i put it this way because i don't want the um, the seal to be uh, crushed by the pocket that's why here I have made these uh, two tags. Really those tags are meant to be used uh, whenever uh, you're journaling and um, decorating the, um, the journal. Um, there was many, many tags. I haven't put all of them in the journal. As you can see, it's already swollen enough. So I've put them aside in a little package that I'll share with you uh, later. So here, some 3Ds on some pages, because here on that page, you see I made a pocket by folding the, the, uh, the, the um, 12 by 12 paper. And uh, so I stitched this border here and then I uh, used an eyelet to um, close the pocket. And in the eyelet, I have uh, threaded this um, garment pin with a little bell, jingle bell on the, on the end. So I have done a lot of stamping in this journal and uh, these are 3D stickers that I have added. Uh, yeah, a lot of stamping. Um, this is, um, these are papers that uh, I don't have the, the actual uh, pad that I uh, took these papers from, um, but basically they're from my stash. Here, oops, I've put a mini glassine envelope. I've glued it here and this tiny little tag. <laughs> I have stamped um, a gingerbread man on it and um, just uh, added some eyelash trim. Here, throughout the journal, you will find these little tabs that I have uh, actually uh, cut out with the die. And uh, I didn't want to put them because basically if I uh, glue them, they will look like so, which is 
pretty cute but when you close the journal they will stick out and i'm not sure that the owner would like that so what i did rather is i put it here hanging on the um, paper clip so that the owner can remove it use it elsewhere or um, glue it to this journal i have added some uh, golden doilies uh, stitched them as well and more paper made the little gathering of things and uh, put this tag in the little pocket and uh, here stitch this pocket you have a tag in there and then this pocket is also another pocket so you have this parchment paper stitched to that fiber fruit fiber paper that i've had in my stash for uh, quite a while another pocket with a, a tag coffee dyed papers another pocket another tag and so on and so forth this is the middle of the first signature this envelope is hiding the um, the binding and in each envelope i have made a little booklet for uh, to go inside and um you have tags in there oh this one i love this uh totten, um paper and this and then i was thinking uh, if you're willing to uh, use these as a traveler's notebook cover, you would just need to um, thread uh, one signature in this and this would do uh, serve as a cover. So I was thinking, yeah, that could be a good idea. But I couldn't do that here because the journal is already too bulky. Because you have three of these in the, in the journal, as you will see. Here, this is a, a little decorated uh, tag that I've made and it's uh, not uh, completely glued so you can tuck something behind it. More uh, stamping. Here, another pocket with the parchment paper, another little uh, 3D sticker. More pockets that I've left empty because uh, too many things already. Beautiful stamp, Santa stamps. More of the doily and so on and so forth this is a new die that i got from uh, aliexpress it's from alina craft store which i have been uh, visiting a lot if i uh, may say and um, i like what she does so this is a a, a very um, used uh, a, a die that i've used a lot basically it's one of my favorite lately another one of these tabs another one of these uh, eyelet pocket and uh, that's the middle of the uh, between the two signatures so that's the second signature here the word winter is printed you can use it anywhere in the journal i have not glued it yeah you have a little rolodex card mm, on that um, tag and uh, yeah this is another paper from another collection another tag that i have made Printed things. Here's a pocket that I've stitched and uh, another tag. It's beautiful because if you see the side, it's been stitched around. And then uh, I've glued this paper. So it fits perfectly in that little uh, pocket here. This is also open, but it's empty. Another tag here. Plenty of space to journal as well. This is the second envelope, middle of the second signature, and uh, this is the second um, uh, cover for uh, a uh, traveler's notebook if you want to do one. I don't know if it's the proper format for a traveler's notebook, so uh, I just did it to fit into my envelope. I, uh, I didn't plan to make a traveler's notebook with it, but once it was done, I was like, oh, this could actually be um, serving for a traveler's notebook uh, cover. So it's there for whoever gets this to uh, use as they please. And here's another glassine envelope with my little gingerbread man again and that eyelash trim. I've given you some eyelash trim in the little bag as well, goodie bag. Here, more of the tabs. Here's another uh, beautiful um, tag and pocket stamping. Another tag, another pocket with the red uh, fiber paper. Here's another one of these um, tags. I really like these, with the stitching around. I think it's really uh, neat and vintage -y and I like it. Anyway, plenty of space to um, journal. This opens up like so. 
And uh, here another pocket, a different uh, kind of tag. I didn't age that one. And uh, here this is a negative uh, from um, a die cut. And I, I thought it, was, um, it, it looked nice, so I added it here. And um, here's another pocket with another one of these uh, tags. I like it. This is in French. It says best wishes. And those little uh, bells. Oh, didn't notice that I put two on the same page, but hey, here they are. Let me try not to get them stuck in the pages. And this one needs to go under as well. Let me do that like so. So plenty of space uh, to journal, as you can see. And these pages I made a few years back and still have some left. Basically, it's paper towel glued onto a uh, cardstock. Actually, manila folders. Yeah, glued them. So diff two different uh, type of uh, paper napkins. And uh, yeah, so that's a good journal to keep your memories for several years, uh, maybe even. And that's the third uh, um, booklet that is in the third uh, uh, signature. It's got music um, sheet on it. I've got little fla golden flowers on each of each one of the envelopes. They, they look pretty nice. My husband plans like them when he looked at the journal because he always uh, has a look at the journals that to give me his. Um, his advice, my, my husband and then my daughter. My son likes to play with, the, with the, the tags and all that. And my husband, particularly in this journal, liked all the, the envelopes. He told me, oh my God, I like the way you did them with this gold and stuff, with the paper that I've used. I really like them. Anyway, so I'm here with another tag, another winter sign. This one is glued. And here, the last um, glassine bag with my old guy here again. So yeah, I really spend a lot of time um, working on this uh, on this journal. Uh, it's uh, currently um, Christmas movie season, so I just create. And I was actually doing another journal that I never ended, that I never finished because I started working on, uh, I wanted to work on something Christmassy. So I started this journal and went on and on. And uh, because watching these Christmas movies uh, makes me want to work on Christmas projects. So this one here is a pocket made with uh, two eyelets again and um, good stamp. And we are reaching the end already. And uh, the back page is very plain, another pocket with three tags. This you can also use anywhere in the journal. That's the purpose of these, my little stem here. Also, I have put these uh, book corners uh, to make everything uh, sturdy. And uh, here is the little pocket that I told you about, which is uh, packed with um, a lot of things from the leftovers from making the journal. I really, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really put ev anything that was left from the journal. There's, there's plenty of tags, um, cut cuts that I had made that I actually never use. I probably will add more because there's more on the side, but this, this is what I was putting aside while I was doing the journal. So all these cuts, they can be used as um, a borders on the, on the pages and stuff. And anyway, I use them with my pictures. This is a piece of paper. These are a piece of paper. I have stitched this to a fabric. That's a piece of one envelope and I've stitched it to a piece of fabric. So um, you can use it. Those are tabs, more of the fabric uh, thingy. This one is the same, but I have added two eyelets on these two. Uh, here you have some beautiful Christmas images that I have added to the journal. Here's a Christmas card. I mean, you see, there's a variety of everything. Here, yeah, this is a bag. It was open, and I intended to uh, actually put it in the journal, but it got too um, too bulky. This is the eyelash trim I was talking about. Uh, leftovers, little uh, stickers of all kinds and type uh, that are um, there for you to use and decorate the journal with. This is a lot, another little tab. More of those things. 
uh, cards, I mean all these. Um, so all these, these are just leftover with the same uh, papers that I've used in the book. I thought I'd rather um, send them to the person rather than throw them away. Those are all small pieces. There's another one that says Sweet Day and more of the tags um, that I couldn't fit in the book because uh, it was, oh, that's another, I love those Rolodex um, dies. They also come from AliExpress and uh, I really like them. And then uh, here you have um, a few more of the pictures that I have printed and uh, that can go into the journal. They're different styles, so I didn't want to glue um, them all, um, having so many different styles. And so I decided that I would just put it in the package with um, on the side so that whoever gets it can uh, continue uh, the, um, the decorating of the journal rather than... Um, than me doing it all so okay let me put this aside i'll finish putting it away and let me give you another view at the um, the little charm and uh, yeah i put a velcro dot on the little envelope anyway um this is it for um this journal uh i thank you all so much uh, for watching and i'll see you around soon happy crafting bye you better watch out